I want to share with you something I do with my uh, FPV antennas. Uh, there's a problem with these cheap antennas I get from SurveilZone. Um, the, the good thing about them is that they're cheap and they have fine coverage. I have great coverage. I mean, I don't notice any reduction in coverage compared to more expensive ones. I get f per no complaints there. But the coax that they use is really thin and if you crash it very quickly, uh, it will uh, break off here at the base where the crimp barrel connector is for the SMA connector. Um, and it just bends over and then the metal of the barrel pushes into the insulation and it, it breaks off. In fact, uh, sometimes it happens faster than others. I had a con an antenna on here yesterday and I said, ah, oh, forget it, I won't do that. I just, it's too much trouble. And, uh, and it broke off literally in 15 minutes of flying. I just got unlucky with a crash and, and that was it. it, it broke. And then you really can't use the antenna anymore because once the insulation goes, then the actual metal braided sheet that provides grounding and current flow is, is gone and uh, it's, you know, it's gonna get worn into and then that, that's just it for your antenna. So you really, you really can't take a chance on that happening. So what I like to do is I'll take some heat shrink and I'll cut a piece of heat shrink that goes about halfway up the length of the coax and I'll slide it on here and then I will get my heat, uh, my, my glue gun good and hot and I will just glob as much glue as I can get in there. Now the glue is going to start shrinking the heat shrink so I'll just glob as much as I can get in there as I can until the heat shrink sort of starts squeezing it out the ends and then I'll take uh, my heat gun and I will just continue shrinking the um, the heat shrink. And then as the glue starts to cool, I'll sort of peel off, oh, sorry about that. I'll just sort of peel off any any little extra bits that stick out so it looks neat. And you can see that it looks it looks really neat and kind of kind of professional and I like it. I think it looks fine. It doesn't look too too chintzy. And what that does is it it means that when you crash and when it bends, it doesn't bend right there at the base where the metal barrel is. It bends here at the top and it's got a little bit of a more gradual bend where the glue is a little bit softer and has a little give to it. After enough crashes, eventually you do get the stress just wears on the insulation and it, it, it breaks right here. But you get a lot more life out of it than if you didn't do this. I will say one more thing and that is that I, I had the idea, well, why don't I just take this and do glue all the way up to the top and make the whole thing stiff. And the problem is that at that point, it just it, it just moved the stress point back down here again. And the first actual hard crash I had, it, it broke like immediately. So that was a bad idea. The glue broke and the insulation broke. It just, that was it. So you definitely don't want to run this all the way up to the top. You want to leave a little bit at the top, maybe half or, or a little more. So it's got some give, but um, but then it's sort of got a nice strain relief there. It's a little better. The other thing this does, of course, is it means that when you're flying, um, it's a little stiff and, then the, and the antenna doesn't bend over as much. I know you can get uh, the positionable coax and it has basically a stiff sheath on the outside. I actually really don't like that stuff because the stiff sheath breaks. It's not actually made to be positioned uh, an infinite number of times. It's made to be sort of bent into shape and left there. Uh, and when we use those for these antennas on on these you know FPV, FPV gear, FPV goggles and stuff, you bend that that coax so many times that it breaks actually quicker than this stuff, much quicker. So I actually really don't like that stuff uh, for for especially on my copter. I have some on my goggles and it's not too bad. It's but I try to be really careful with it. Anyway, um, if you like me, use these cheap antennas with this thin coax from Surveil Zone. Uh, this is what I would suggest doing. Uh, this is how I've gotten the most service life out of them. You crash them enough times and eventually they do break and that's a shame. But um, but I get I get a few months of flying out of one of these and you know they cost like what, two bucks, three bucks a piece. I don't know what they cost. They're pretty cheap. So anyway, there you go. Hope that's helpful and happy flying.